The day before Chuseok, a special audience was held with True Mother at Chonjonggung, which approximately 640 Top Gun from Japan college participants. Sano Tadakuni, Director of Future Talent Development, gave a report on activities over the past year, followed by testimonies. After the report given by Top Gun College students, True Mother spoke to the group about the mission as youth leaders and the providence that we must work together to complete. Hanerumoshiade. Noid 국가복귀, 세계복귀하여 지금 전 세계에서 벌어지고 있는 전쟁 민족 간의 갈등 모든 문제를 해결하는 데 있어서는 창조주 하늘 부모님을 모시는 자리에서만이 싸울 수 없는 싸우지 않는 형제 나라가 되기 때문에 평화로운 세계가 이루어진다. 그렇게 만들어 가는 데 있어서 너희 한 사람 한 사람의 행동과 결심이 중요하다. Through Hyojun offering papers and singing praises with their beautiful voices and harmonized gestures, they showed their unending resolve and fill your hearts as pure waters, and led by Vice President Motoyama Katsumichi, they shouted out cheers of Okmanse to complete the Top Gun College gathering with True Mother. A ceremony was held to commemorate the Chuseok liberation of heaven and earth with members of True Family and Chuseok leaders at the Bongyong Wan. In his report prayer, Chun Shimon President Igi Song took a look back at the meaning of Chuseok, prayed for unity and success for the entrance ceremony into Chongwangung, and announced the beginning of the Chuseok holiday centered on true parents. At 10 a.m. on September 17th, a Chuseok memorial ceremony for the liberation of heaven and earth was held at the Paju Wonjon with about 200 people attending, including members of the True Family, heads of organizations, and Blessed Central Families members.
After the True Family lit the holy candles, FFWPU Korea President Humble Gook offered a representative prayer calling on those present to remember the noble lives and traditions of our respected departed Chonin Group leaders and emphasizing the resolve to bring honor and glory to Chong Wangung entrance ceremony. Flora offerings were made by the True Family, heads of organizations and blessed family members. In his commemorative speech, So Young Chun, the head of World Mission Headquarters, emphasized that if we become one with true parents, heavens will lead us to the path of victory. The Paju Wonjo Memorial Ceremony concluded with three chairs of Ogmanse, led by Lee Young Young, president of the Korean Religious Council, followed by the resolution ceremony with a pledge to carry out the will of heavenly parent and true parents. In the afternoon, a special Chuseok liberation of heaven and earth dinner for the 12th year of Chaninguk was held. After a bouquet of flowers was presented to True Mother on behalf of all district leaders of Heavenly Korea, gifts were also presented, followed by a special Chuseok dinner, offering one more opportunity to express gratitude to True Mother. After the congratulatory cake was cut, a representative report prayer was given by Yu Kyung Deng, chairman of HJ Magnolia Korea Foundation, and a toast led by Muyana, chairman of Sonak Academy. Everybody resolved to achieve the victory of Vision 2025 together. The first Hyojong Cultural Conference after dinner was offered by third generation true family members and fourth generation Miss Moon Jonga. More pure water performances followed by spiritual growth trainees, heavenly Korean youths, the heavenly Japanese Top Gun, the UPA cadets, and others. After a song by the Heavenly Korean District Leaders, three chairs of Ogmanse were led by Heavenly Japan President Tomihiro Tanaka. The rising of the Chuseok Moon for the 12th year of Chaneguk was celebrated on the Gapyeong Cruise in attendance to True Parents. Other members joined the Gapyeong Marina Moon Viewing event online and the trainees at the HJ Chombo Training Center gathered and lit up the banks of the lake. Looking at the Chuseok full moon brightly lightening up the night sky, the third generation from the True Family offered their Hyojong with the performance of Sarange, bringing the Chuseok Heaven and Earth Liberation event to a heartwarming conclusion. Exploring the values of unification thought and interdependence, mutual prosperity and shared values, the Fort Hyojong Academy International Academic Conference was held for three days. This conference also included the 21st International Conference on Unification Medicine and the Third World Research Institute of Science and Technology. A total of 781 scholars from 13 countries participated online and offline, resolving to continue interdisciplinary collaborative research in the future to realize the principle of interdependence, mutual prosperity and shared values. In the United States, a Peace Road Rally for Peace and Reconciliation on the Korean Peninsula was opened at the Hawaii War Memorial. 
Participants, who included Muslim and Mormon representatives, marched through the area wearing Peace Road t shirts and holding Peace Road banners to expand awareness on the path towards peace. Tongan Mudo students held their promotion test in Clairstone, Ontario, Canada. Amidst the cheers of parents, family and friends, it was a time of celebration as they received their certificates and belts at the promotion ceremony. Inspired by the Happy Principal Seminars held in Heavenly Korea, Heavenly Taiwan held a two-day training session for community leaders. After a month of invitation and preparations, they were able to gather 28 community leaders and after a Chombo Chanyang session and an introduction to the World Peace Movement, they were able to sign MOUs with 13 organizations at the end of the training session. In Cambodia, a blessing ceremony was held with the team, Let's Return Our Friends to Heavenly Parent. Despite many difficulties, the ceremony was held for 12 couples successfully on the foundation of Ernest Chongsong, including call-out prayers at Chongshimwan. Jointly hosted by the Nepal Family Federation and the EMA, Korean Language Center, a three-day transformational workshop was held on the team of developing youth leaders for nation building. Participants had lectures on character education, family values, and true parents' life course, and confirmed their commitment to contribute to society for sustainable peace and prosperity. In Bolivia, a H.J. Chombo special seminar was held on the foundation of Chon Shim won special night vigils. With the support of Peace Ambassador Bishop Medardo Beidia, the seminar was held in the Coliseum of the Evangelical Methodist Church Research Institute. A second generation team led the Chanyang, which was followed by ancestor liberation and blessing ceremonies. The blessed families who participated expressed deep gratitude to Heavenly Parent and True Parents. The Dominican Republic held a Vision 2025 Resolution Ceremony attended by 140 participants. A statement of resolution to expand membership by 30% was made and all attendees prayed with one heart, offering the resolution for the victory. After the Heavenly South America Hyojong team completed their first 40-day eight-country tower witnessing to single people for the blessing, they gathered for a workshop at the Heavenly South America headquarters to prepare for their second trip. A total of 32 young people joined as a result of the witnessing during the first 40-day tower and 16 of them who joined in Bolivia are preparing for the blessing in 2025. At the workshop, they shared their activities and results in each mission country and set specific goals to make a new start for the second 40-day tower. In Brazil, the third two-day workshop was held at Campo Grande Church, the headquarters of Brazil's 5th district. The district tower was held to share the vision, unite all the members and offer Brazil's determination for the Chongwongong entrance ceremony next year to Heavenly Parent. Kim Dung Woo, Continental Chair of Heavenly South America, explained the significance of True Mother's special meeting held in July and asked that all blessed families make the foundation to directly attend Heavenly Parents in 2025. The Heavenly Brazil President gave a lecture on the meaning and value of the Chombo family and witnessing methods.
to commemorate the fifth anniversary of the Sao Tome Peace Declaration of True Mother, the International Association of Youth and Students for Peace gathered to hold a 2024 Peace Designer Global Camp. The opening and closing ceremonies of the camp were held at the National Assembly Building and character education and school facility maintenance volunteer work were carried out at four schools designated by the Ministry of Education. The camp received national attention and was reported on several times in national broadcasts. At the closing ceremony, Masuda Kochi, YSP International President, stated that youth are the key to national development and proposed that a thousand peace designers be trained so that the youth can take the lead in a peace movement to create a peaceful nation. In Ghana, a seven-day workshop for youth was conducted teaching the True Parents Theory. Through the lectures, attendees learned about the nature of Heavenly Parent, Jesus, True Parents, and came to understand True Mother's providence and realized their responsibility in that providence. In Liberia, a 20-day training is underway in the capital city of Moronvia. The staff conducting this training are offering their best efforts with the hope that the young people who are participating in the training will attend the blessing. A dedication ceremony for the Chongshin One special prayer room was held at the Zimbabwe Peace Embassy led by Muruti Ledwaba, the Southern Africa Peace Ambassador Director. East African branch president Huang Songmin expressed gratitude to Heavenly Parent and True Parent for the grace of granting the establishment of Chongshin One Special Room Prayer and resolved to become one through offering devotions at Chongshin One. In Estonia, the fifth one Korean friendly football match to promote peace on the Korean Peninsula was held at the Seoul Football Stadium in Tallinn. UPF Estonia President Awo Mattison opened the event by welcoming the participant and emphasizing the importance of sending a message of peace and hope to the Korean people. After the game, the players all received commemorative certificates and peace medals and time was spent reflecting on the meaning of the game. In Ireland, a special worship service was held to welcome UPA missionaries, and in Copenhagen, Denmark, UPA missionaries are stepping up their witnessing efforts in university campuses. UPA missionaries will focus on outreach for the next three months to invite new members. At the Portuguese Sea Fishing Training Program on the coastal sea of Porto, participants devoted themselves to fishing training for six days, reflecting on the value and meaning of True Prince's Ocean Providence and pledged to share the ideal peace further through the Ocean Providence. <laughs> 